Turning on a servo isn't as simple as switching on a light bulb. It's important to know that there are three stages to enable a servo. First, the amplifier itself must be turned on. We refer to this as control power. The system is typically wired to power up the controller and the operator interface at the same time servo control power is established. The second stage is to apply the high voltage and high current power source that the amplifier will use to drive the motor. We refer to this as main power. The main power input allows flexibility in wiring to the servo amplifier. The third stage is to energize the servo motor. We refer to this as servo enable. This signal to enable the motor comes from the controller. Servo enable doesn't mean the motor is moving. It only means that it's ready to move when commanded. Before the servo is enabled, the shaft will easily move. But if you manually try to turn the shaft while the servo is enabled, it will hold its position. You may hear a hissing sound as the servo works to maintain this position. After the servo motor is energized, the controller typically requires the operator to press some type of a start button. At this point, the controller will command motion according to its program. 